Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinema Stitches. I am your yarn host Jennifer and today I think this is going to be a Friday yarn porn video. <laughs> so I bought some yarn from Mikael's, otherwise known as Michael's. I ordered quite a bit of yarn honestly. Um, but I had reasons for ordering this yarn. Um, I bought it for a review video because I was looking at Michael's website I was looking for more of this. I'm going to be real honest. I love this color. <laughs> I showed this last week. This is the Loops and Threads Impressions, which is basically puzzle. It's puzzle. I'm going to be real honest. It's puzzle. Okay? I don't care what they say. It feels and looks like puzzle, except this isn't a color that's not available in puzzle. It is way more beautiful than anything Premier Yarns has on their website. It is just... I mean, look at it. How can you not fall in love with that? <laughs> I ordered four of these because I already have two. Th I have three. Because I want to make myself a sweater. I want to make myself a sweater. So I have three over there. I ordered four more. Isn't that funny? This looks like a different yarn because the way Puzzle is and this yarn is, it takes two variegated yarns and it spins it together. So, you will get these variations of color. So, see here is the pink is mixed with the blue. And then you have the blue mixed with the yellow right there. So, you will get spots where it's blue mixed with blue. Or blue mixed with pink or purple. Like, it changes the way the yarn looks. Depending on, see how this looks purple. This looks green. This looks blue. <laughs> it's gorgeous yarn. This is the colorway... I need my glasses. I am struggling so hard today. And all I need to do saltwater taffy, which is funny because project I'm working for for Premier Yarns and the Cotton Sprout, same color, cotton, uh, saltwater taffy. And it's kind of the same colors, but this is prettier. Honestly, this is prettier. So I ordered four of these because I wanted more than three. They only had three in store. So I went on Michael's website and I was like, okay, well, I need four more on top of the three that's more than enough to make myself a big giant cardigan if I want because that's what I want is I think I want a cardigan um love 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 those colors so I put everything in my shopping cart and I was like okay is there anything else that is in here that I haven't seen before so I'm gonna move these up to my desk so I'm not bending down so much taking them out of the box So I was looking, on their website at the new products, and this is scrap. I was like, what do they have that's new? And this yarn popped up, and I was like, that looks exactly like a yarn from Premier Yarns. The bulky cotton something or another, which I have, I think in a bucket up there. Or did I pull it down? I don't know if I pulled it down or not. It might be in this bucket right here. Because there's cottons in there. I really think it's up there though. Because that's Premier Yarns up there. Anyway, this reminds me exactly. So, And I was looking, I was like, okay, well what are the specs on this versus the Premier Yarns cotton? And it's a cotton acrylic blend. The the percentage of cotton to acrylic is different so this one is 50 50 cotton acrylic and i think premier yarns is 50 or 40 60 but i don't remember if it's more cotton or more acrylic it's a dupe it is so close that i'm happy i'm, I'm really happy like i like the yarn from premier yarns um let me, let me pull up my receipt and tell you how much this cost. Now, I got a discount because Michaels has been giving me all kinds of rewards. And so, as a matter of fact, as of the recording of this, I have another $10 reward, which I need to figure out what I'm going to use it for. All right, how do I, how, okay, how do I see my orders? My order. Orders. 
All right, so these retail for $6.99. This is the Bulky Twist Cotton Blend Yarn by Loops and Threads. So it's $6.99, but these were on sale, and my receipt is not telling me what I paid for them. They were on sale, I want to say buy one, get one 50% off, which means they were all 25% off. But then I had $10 off on top of it, so it made it worth it for me to buy them. So what colors did I buy? I bought a bunch. <laughs> I bought more probably than I needed. But I was like, ooh, pretty color. Ooh, pretty color. Ooh, pretty color. And like I said, this is a dupe of a yarn from Premier Yarns. And Premier Yarns colors are not, they're not the same. And I don't remember the name of the dang yarn on Premier Yarns website. It's something cotton. Yarn. Excuse me. Cotton. Cotton Fair Bulky. This is a dupe of the Cotton Fair Bulky. And the Cotton Fair Bulky is 52% cotton, 48% acrylic. So it's a percentage off of 2% either way. And this one is very similar to the City Lights colorway. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of these yarns. So I'm not going to go into all that today, but like, it's a pretty good dupe. So the the yarn from Premier Yarns is $4.99. This is $6.99, but it was 25% off. And I had a $10 off coupon, so this was actually cheaper than had I ordered it through Premier Yarns. But it's it's a pretty good dupe. Now, I ordered some of the solids. I don't know why I ordered off-white and white, but I guess I did. <laughs> and then I ordered some of the variegated of this yarn. So, like I said, it's 50-50 cotton acrylic blend. Um, 153 yards. It's a bulky 5. 6.5 millimeter hook. Machine wash warm, gentle cycle, non-chlorine bleach. I actually made a bag out of the Premier Yarns version of this yarn. And so there's a tutorial. I believe I did a tutorial on this channel for that yarn. I'm positive that I did. But look at how pretty this blanket is. That looks familiar, don't it? That looks like... No, maybe not. Anyway, it's pretty. I would probably change that up a little bit, but it's still pretty. So, you know that this is cotton acrylic. You could make a, this would make a really cute little picnic blanket or like a little blanket. I don't mind using cottons for blankets because, I mean, my sheets are made out of cotton. Cotton breathes. Acrylic does not. This is the color white. Come on, camera. Not to be confused with the color ecru. So we got white and ecru, and then I got powder pink, and I got pastel turquoise, which that is not turquoise to me at all. It's kind of like a, it's reading mint. It's definitely like a, a, well, I don't, it, most yarns this color is called mint. This yarn is soft and squished, like it feels good. But I'm thinking like, these four would be so pretty together. However, further than that, I ordered the variegated ones too, with my flaming pink hair on it. This is the color Sunrise Multi. But I could totally see putting that with a pink. Cause there's like, just the ever slightest tinge of pink in some spots and I think that would go together so it's the sunrise multi but also this colorway is sherbet multi which would also go with that oh that goes even better but bear with me well maybe not maybe maybe not 
There we go. The Ecru. We'll go with that. Alright, and then I got this one is the color Lavender Glow Multi. And then this one is Flower Go Flower Garden Multi. And I don't know that the well, that one does kind of go with that one. Look at that. That would go. And then you can put the white with that one. Right? So, yeah. That's what I got from Michaels. I'm really looking forward to doing side-by-side -side comparison with these and with the Premier version because they're so close to the same yarn. Uh, they might as well be the same yarn. They might as well be the same yarn. I don't know how you spell might as well, because that's not an actual word. <laughs> they might as well be the same yarn. So, this came to me super fast. I ordered this, and that's unusual for Michaels to ship out so fast. I ordered this on the 7th, and it came on the 9th. They, they sent it UPS. Would you guys know? I already have problems with UPS, but it was the it sent, sent it UPS to the USPS. So the postal, like my mail lady, is fantastic. Her name is Sheila. Shout out to Sheila, cause Sheila gets her job done. She don't play. She's on the phone most of the time, but <laughs> I kid you not. She comes up on my porch and she scans stuff and she activates my camera every time. And every single time she's talking to one of her daughters. She has two daughters, and I think they're teenagers. Um, every time she came up to the door one time, I caught her on camera, and she's all, if it concerns you that much, you need to call the police. And I'm like, oh, something's going on with Sheila. <laughs> <coughs> but, yeah. And I don't know if that conversation was with her daughter, because, like, I, like I said, I eavesdrop for the 60 seconds she's on my porch, but... <laughs> Yeah, I ain't into her business that much. But yeah, she got it packaged. She got the package delivered. So next week there's going to be a review of that yarn versus the Premier yarns because they feel like the same yarn. And I'm convinced they are. And some of the colorways are super, super similar. Um, so there's going to be more in-depth with those. But man, that order made me so happy because that all that yarn is soft. Uh, this acrylic cotton blend... It's squish. Like, I don't know what cotton is in here, but it is a... Look, my label's all crunched up. It is a squish yarn. And I said the same thing about the Premier Yarns, because that cotton, the bulky cotton for Premier Yarns, was sent to me in a... Um, in a big old giant knot right there. It was sent to me in one of those, you know, those advertising packets that they do. Oh, it wasn't an actual knot. It was just knotted. It was not an actual knot. <sighs> Praise the yarn gods. <laughs> um, anyway, they sent when when the cotton bulky came out with Premier Yarns, they sent me the little you know the media pack thing, and I was like, I, I don't normally go for bulky. Like, if I like bulky, it's usually like I go for the puzzle. Usually, I don't I don't do a lot of fat chunky yarns. And I definitely don't do chunky cottons because they're not my favorite and they hurt my hands. This does not feel like a chunky cotton. Even though it's 50% cotton, it feels like a, just a squish. It's a squish. It almost feels like the anti-pilling acrylic yarn from Walmart. But this is not anti-pilling. You know what I'm talking about. The mainstay, the anti-pilling. It kind of feels like that. But it's not. It's got cotton in it. But it's, it's squish. It's so squish. $6.99 is a little on the pricey side because it's cheaper through Premier Yarns. But when you get it on sale and then you have rewards on top of it, it's... I mean, it paid for itself. <laughs> it really did. And I'm thinking about making a little summer blanket with that. Because it will be like a picnic blanket or something like that. I think a picnic blanket will be so cute. And then I can mix all those colors together. And I can go sit out in the backyard on a picnic blanket with my dog like hang out with him or I can go sit up at the spot 
which is our secret little spot that we go sit to, sit at and relax. But yeah, totally loving that. Totally loving that. And you rest assured this is going to be turned into a cardigan. Hopefully sooner rather than later. But again, I have 800 other things on my plate that need to be taken care of first before I can make it. But oh my god, this colorway is just... I mean, it's all of my favorite colors. All of my favorite colors. It's got coralies in there. It's got aqua in there. It's got the yellow and the pink. I don't like yellow by itself, but when you mix yellow with pink, like, I'm here for it. It's got a little bit of a tangerine color to it. I mean, it's just stunning. It's stunning. And then you saw that one almost looked like it had green in it because the yellow and the blue... Is that the one? No, it's this one. From a distance. Was it this one? Yeah. From a distance, this almost looks green because the yellow and the blue are twisted together, but it's very much yellow and blue. But from a distance, it looks like a pretty green. And then this one looks more purple because the pink and the blue are mixed together. See pink and blue? But from a distance, it's reading as purple. I mean, I love that. I love that. And what's funny is this one doesn't look purple anywhere. It didn't look purple anywhere. And this one, well, there's a little bit of green right here, it looks like. But this one doesn't have green. And this one has more of the straight aqua because the aqua and the aqua are on top of each other. I mean, this yarn is... If you like puzzle yarn, if you if you are familiar with puzzle yarn from Premier... This is puzzle. So, I don't know if Michaels is relabeling yarns that's from Premier Yarns, that would be fantastic, but I, and I have noticed that Michaels has done this for years and years. They have a lot of either dupes or they're, they're relabeling Premier Yarns. Um, I showed last week in the unboxing the Chow Baby versus the DK Baby yarn. The DK, what is it called? DK, what was it called? And I don't know if I put, I think I put it away. And watch that video if you want to see more. But they, they relabeled the Chow Baby from Premiere. And they now it's DK Cuddles or something like that. It's the same yarn. Um, there's a yarn that used to be on Premiere's website called Luna. And it was the same exact yarn at Michael's. Relabeled. Oh, DK. DK it was DK something because it came in like a ball. Similar to... It, it just came in a ball. It was wrapped in a ball, but it was it's the, it was the same yarn, same colorways. I also noticed um, Joanne's and Michael's has cotton that says it's loops and threads, but it's the same exact colors as the home cotton. It's the same yarn and the same color names even as the Premier Home Cotton. So I mean, I don't have insider information. I don't know how the yarn world actually works, but my theory is it's either coming from the same um, mill or it's being re relabeled as store brands when it's really Premier Yarns or um, I don't know what Joann's does because some of Joann's yarns seems more like it's Lion brand but their cotton is definitely Premier Yarns so I don't know but these are all theories in Cinnamon Stitches Land they're just theories but yeah, we're definitely doing a comparison next week. And I'm looking forward to that because I want to play with that yarn. And if it's so similar that I can intermix them, that means I have even more yarns in different colors that I can mix together and play with. Because I know that I have... I think I have a color similar to this. Um, I don't know what else I have. We're going to have to dig and figure out where it's at up here in these buckets somewhere. But I just saw it the other day, so I know that I still have it. <laughs> Ooh, I got really white there for a minute. That is it for today. I hope you have enjoyed your enjoyed the yarn porn Friday. <laughs> Friday. Jenny. <laughs> One of the downsides of having your name is Jenny. <laughs> I get I get the Forrest Gump Jenny a lot. <laughs> for Mr. Cinnamon particularly. For years he would say something like, I love you, Jenny. <laughs> 
You and me are like peas and carrots, Jenny. Jenny. That was a really good movie. If you haven't seen Forrest Gump, you need to watch it. It was a really good movie. Tom Hanks is a legend, man. I don't think I've ever seen anything Tom Hanks is in that I didn't like, with the exception of that one where he was on that ship where he was a pirate. He was His ship was taken over by pirates. And the only reason I didn't like that movie is because I got really, really um, boat sick watching that. Like, I was so seasick watching that movie. I had to actually... And it was a good movie. Like, I liked listening to it, but I couldn't look at the screen anymore because I was going to throw up. <laughs> Tom Hanks is... He is... I loved... I've always loved Tom Hanks. Um, I remember... I remember when I was little watching reruns of... I think it was Bosom Buddies. Is that where he was in drag with his friend? Is that the name of the show? Do you guys remember that? from? I think it was from the 70s or early 80s. And then... Um, Oh, when he played Mr. Rogers. Do you guys ever see that? My stomach is so growly today. Um, you ever seen that movie where he played Mr. Rogers? That movie, he became Mr. Rogers. Like, And then I started to realize, like, wait a minute. <laughs> He's not actually Mr. Ro he He had me believe in he was Mr. Rogers. And I didn't think he would do that role justice because... Um, I think it's called Won't You Be My Neighbor. It's the one with Tom Hanks. Look up Tom Hanks as... Mr. Rogers. It's a really good movie. I cried. Like, he he brought Mr. Rogers to a level of, like, I didn't realize he was such an amazing person. Like, I always loved Mr. Rogers growing up. Um, I loved him. But, like, he, he brought it to, like, a, like, it made me really understand and really have a deep respect for who Mr. Rogers was. It was a really good movie. I highly suggest it. But he crossed the line so much and became Mr. Rogers. I was like, wait a minute, who is he? <laughs> who is he? I don't know. And I'm not even a super fan girl of Tom Hanks. I just really respect and like him. And it's funny because he has almost become an, a legend with younger people, which is really strange because I don't know. You wouldn't think he would be relevant to teenagers and like 20 something year olds because a lot of his movies now are more like older adult style movies but no he's a legend he is an absolute legend you can't come in Oreo all right guys I'm gonna let you go I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I will see you in the next one bye guys